Hi everybody, it's me, your bestie who's a bestie, Viviany, Viviany, Tiffany Blue tonight because Vivian's on vacation. I'm filling in. I'm the frosty color of the frost bite. Anyway, enough of the split personalities going on here tonight because I had such a hard week and I've been having this in my fridge. I want to make space for other stuff. I'm going to taste test this barf soda. Great chunky flavor. Now the last time I did a soda tasting thing, it was a uh, pimple popper and it, upon closer examination that I somehow read uh, Miss when I was uh, not high as fuck, but then high as fuck I was like, this is marshmallow soda right there on the bottle. Anyway, this doesn't have any kind of disclaimer. It just says thick and chunky. I don't know. I have no, I think it's going to taste like cotton candy or some shit. So anyway, bar soda tonight on the frost bite. It smells like, you know when, you know when you have jello in the fridge and it's getting old so it gets like really rubbery and has a different odor? That's what this smells like. Like peach jello, stale peach jello. Room temperature stale peach jello is what this smells like. Now, also, full disclaimer, peach jello is my favorite fucking jello. So. It's not chunky. I was, they should have had fucking chunks in it. Just for the texture, like, you know, like they have the, that that like aloe vera drink that has like the the slimy stuff in it. They should absolutely have that in here. That would be amazing. But this does not taste like vomit, and I vomited a whole fucking lot. I mean, my whole shtick on Cam on Chatterbait, well, actually on Cam Four back then, my whole shtick was like getting fucking high and then vomiting. Anyway. Yeah, so I know a lot of what vomit tastes like. All different kinds of vomit. Red wine vomit, white wine vomit, gin vomit, which actually smells pretty good, but burns like shit. Well, burns like, you know, fucking fire. Uh, most notably vodka vomit, wink. But uh, this has no real, like, flavor. It's just like, kinda, it tastes like every fruit, but no fruit. Doesn't taste gross. No chunks, which is very disappointing. I wanted the chunks. No, oh, no eating vomit is the worst because it's that fucking bile smell. Or if you ate like one thing, like if you had a hot dog and you ate just the wiener, <laughs> um, and then like that's all you ate since like breakfast and you start vomiting at night, so it's like little bits of wiener in that bile and it looks like some sort of devil soup. Anyway, what I always like to do, how does it taste with vodka? So let me make my mixed drink a little stiff tonight. My lipstick's already there because I had to partake of a couple of sips of vodka to wet my whistle, if you know what I mean. So, with, with vodka. Tastes like somebody had a orange and a mystery, no, it tastes like mystery. It tastes like mystery dum-dums. Somebody like licked it once and then stuck it in their vodka and it just sat there overnight or got dropped in the bottle and then the next time you go to drink it, it like, you know, flavored the vodka, you know, in some sort of like flubber-esque experiment. I am intrepid, y'all. But yeah, barf soda. It's more like Bartholomew soda because it's nothing special. I don't know. Bartholomew is special. Bartholomew. R.I.P. John Candy from Spaceballs. Uh, but yeah, it's you know, I. Where are the gross sodas? I want you know, like like the um, the Jelly Belly roulette uh, roulette flavor. You know, it's grosser, it's good. They need like legit soda swear. You don't know if it tastes good or not. There's like a sweet, like there's a marshmallow flavored pimple popper, but then, but does it say on the bottle? And then you might get the marshmallow one. You might get the one that tastes like an actual fucking pop pimple. I'm a genius, yes, I know soda company that made this. I just made you a billion dollars. Rocket fizz, rocket jizz. Hi, Yoshua, Yoshewa, on kick. Uh, he's, oh, I'm live. <laughs> Let me finish the show. By now, you should subscribe right here because you think this is fucking hilariously cringe, yet somehow strangely erotic, which it is. So 
not just you. Anyway, subscribe here. And this video is what the metrics think you should watch based on all the other weird shit that you watch on YouTube that you know nobody know that you think nobody knows about. The algorithms know. Let me what know what down below what video this is. Smash my like button, all that fun stuff. And until next time, everybody, stay fucking frosty.